Meet Dylan Wright, a police officer for the Rome Police Department. Dylan enjoyed a nice time with the ladies, so much so that even his co-workers were not off limits. This cop has been accused of some pretty crazy stuff and has had many nefarious intimate relationships while on duty, even once in the bathroom of a convenience store in the middle of the night. Find out as we examine the evidence and open records to learn the anatomy of a monster and find out if he is back in law enforcement in another state. This is a multi-part series with many interviews and records coming, so please keep an eye on the page for this story at shieldsofshame.com. All links are down below. Don't miss out on the members-only content. Join today for just 99 cents for early access and exclusive content that can't be found anywhere else. Most is found on the community forum where I give follow-up often. Thank you. Now let's start the presentation. Georgia Post, Investigator Franklin. Yes, ma'am. This is Dylan Wright. Hey, sir. How are you I'll doing? You, yes, let me get your file real quick. Just one second. Yes, ma'am. So, is it okay if I call you Dylan? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Dylan. Like I said, my name's Monica, and I'm the investigator that was assigned your case from the um, Rome Police Department. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and I know you sent an email way back when, but you never sent in a letter of response to this investigation um, to give your side of the story or if you wanted to say anything that you thought would be important. Okay. Is that something you want to do or are you still trying to uh, maintain a career in law enforcement? Or I have got a, I have got out of law enforcement. I mean, I, I would like for my post and everything to be able to keep it good and everything, all that. Yes, sir. I just, didn't, I just didn't know what else to do with it. My post is currently expired. Right. It expired last uh, this month. So I didn't know if I could try and go through training courses to, you know, for the, that was listed on the post to keep it. With this, with all that that happened back in. From my, back, un from my understanding, since you, um, already have the certification it's just expired from my understanding you can take classes to maintain your certification that you currently have unless of course the probable cause committee decides to do something else which i i don't ever know what they're going to do with any of these cases so um i saw that when i was reading through the internal affairs investigation and i listened to the interviews i mean you didn't deny anything um you were quite straightforward as to what happened. Yes, ma'am. I didn't. I wouldn't go lie about none of it. Okay. I just I had there was a there's a girl that I was messing around with and told her I didn't want to be with her and then she come up with all this stuff she wanted to say. Okay. So I mean there wasn't nothing to disagree with because all of it was true because all of it was going on. There was nothing nothing false about anything that was said. Okay. And then, of course, your agency terminated, you just, I mean, you were exonerated on several of the allegations that she made, and the agency just fired you because of the um, policy violations. Yeah, they said, the, the code said of I was conduct. a violation of a code of conduct policy, and that's why they released me, but they exonerated all of I, which I had a, I had a hard time understanding how could they exonerate me on everything, but still fire me on a policy violation that I was exonerated from, but I guess because I didn't deny anything, I you know, I did, I did violate policy by doing it. I'm not going to say that I didn't, but right. made a mistake. I made a mistake and admitted to it. Well, I commend you for, I'm actually, I mean, that's a big part of it. Going in there and just being honest was that, that did well for you. So, um, is there anything that you would like me to add or is there anything that you want to say? There's not really anything for me to add, to be honest, except, you know, what was, what was said in there? I mean, I, I was up front, honest, and told the truth about yes. everything. So I don't, I don't really have anything to add other than you know it was. Yes, sir. So let I had, me... got caught up, got caught up in a, got caught up in a bad situation. You know, I made a, I made a, I made a decision, and did you know, I made a decision and was you know seeing this girl and well, I was married. I was seeing her on the side, and she wanted it to be more, and I tried to break it off, and then she wanted to come forward and say a bunch of, come forward and say everything. Right. So, when she, you know, there wasn't nothing for me to hide or say, you know. So, there was also an, um, 
and part of the investigation that I read there was an issue that said that you actually you you sought assistance from EAP mm -hmm. okay did that help you yes ma'am okay good alrighty so what I'll do then is sir is I will turn this in and what they'll do this goes before the probable cause committee Yes, ma'am. And they, they, will, they have to judge whether it revokes my certification, uh, certification Correct. or not. Correct. And they will send you a letter the day of. And I okay. think the next one's going to be in April. Okay. Um, is, uh, is there anything early? Is, what do you, you're, you've been a part of this a lot, lot longer than I have and dealt with this, these stu this stuff. So is, do you believe that mine's going to get revoked or? I mean, you were honest, so I, I'm, I'm going to tell you that it carries a lot of weight. So, mm -hmm. I, I'm, as for the, I mean, other officers has done the same thing, so I will okay. tell you that. So, um, okay. uh, d if you need anything else from me, just give me a call. But I so am. I can, can, so, uh, I can look to do the, uh, I got that email from Post about the, about the change in the uh, recertification process and all that. So, I can go ahead and do all that. Let me, let me call the certification specialist because I don't want to give you any wrong information because that's not what my specialty is. Okay, and, I'm but, sorry. And, no, and what I'll do is, this is, can I call you back and just as soon as I talk to them and call you right back on this number? Yes, ma'am. I will do my best to answer it. And you don't, have a, voice, right, long, you don't since, have a voicemail, so I can't leave you a message. <laughs> since that happened back in, since that, ha since that happened in Rome, I had a all back. I got, I got a diesel certification. I went back, and I'm actually running a shop here in Cartersville oh, for good. Gateway Transportation. So, I mean, I want to keep my certification. I don't want to lose it because I spent all that time doing it. But yes, at the, the way everything's going and the pay and stuff kind of. I understand. I, so, I understand. Let me but I'd call. I like to not lose my stuff, you know. Right. Let me call my supervisor and I'll call you right back. All uh, right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh -huh, bye bye. Bye bye. This is Captain Tyson here in my office on December the 23rd, 2020, at approximately 9:45 a.m. with a PFC Anthony Banks. Um, I briefly explained I was investigating a complaint on one of his fellow officers. Um, do you remember working third shift or working nights a couple of years ago? Um, was there anybody that you used to kid Dylan Wright about, about being his stalker? I, I don't know her name, but she's up here at um, 1491. I know she was on night shift then she went to day shift. Um, I can't think of a name. But every time I go in there, we always speak. You know, she always speak to me. Um, now, when I was on night shift, I was the early car, the five o'clock car. Right. I would go in there get a drink, and she would always ask, "Hey, who's working?" And I'd be like, "I thank everybody." And she would ask, "Well, where's your partner's work?" Referring to Dylan, I'd be like, "Well, I don't know right now. You know, I'm the early car. I won't know until we get in." And she'd be like, "Okay, well, if you could, let me know so I can avoid that side of town." Now, I never would go back and tell her where he was working. Right. I would call Dylan to say, hey, you know, your stalker's looking for you. Just kidding around with him, and right. that would be the end of that one. Um, so she was trying to avoid him, you think? I don't know. Now, I've been told by Dylan and Nick that, you know, she would figure out what side of town he's working, and Dylan could be sitting somewhere, and her car would continuously pass by him. Right. Now, if she was actually looking for him but trying to avoid him, I, I can't say. Um, so you don't know if she was trying to avoid him or actually out looking for him. Yes. Either one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but she never, did she ever ask you, hey, where's he at? Or tell him to call me or tell him to come by or anything nah, like that? No, she never um, asked me to tell him to call or come by. Um, she did ask me occasionally, where was he working? But that would be, that would be it. She'd be like, hey, where's your buddy working? And she would leave it at that. She never said a name. Um. Yeah, she never actually said his name. Like, hey, where's Dylan working? It was always, hey, where's your buddy working? But every time me and him would go in there, it was us together. So I just kind of put two and two together. Right. Um, did anybody else ever talk about her following him around or? Nick. Nick, you just talked about her yeah. following him around or trying to find him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that the only other person you know of? That, that I know of, yes. Okay. All right. That's all I needed. Uh. 
Did she ever complain to you about Dylan? No. Okay. The time now is 9.48. I'll be ending the interview. They sent me an email telling me that it's uh, in an investigative file. So, again, man, just constantly dealing with, with, with open records frustrations. But, you know, we can't give up. We gotta keep, we gotta keep pushing and exercise our rights. Don't let a no stop you. If, you're, if you wanna go and get body cam from the Sheriff's Department, you just email them, give them the date, time, and officer's name, and uh, don't accept no. Just keep trying. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe and like. I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Y'all have a great day. It's beautiful out. Get out and enjoy the day.